As someone who has grown sick of seeing human rights and EU law constantly abused by criminals, scroungers and the like, I would like to ask if introducing a British Bill of Rights to our Constitution would help redress this abuse, and importantly, how such a Bill of Rights would interact with EU law. Could a British Bill of Rights take legal precedence over EU human rights law? And if not, would there be any point in introducing a British Bill of Rights? Well, there are actually several separate questions in there. Um, a Bill of Rights would not necessarily address the issues that are referred to if you're going to deal with people who are accused of, say, scrounging, things like that. That can be dealt with under the existing law. The, the problem there is essentially one of enforcement rather than the actual powers that are uh, enacted in law. On the issue of a Bill of Rights, there are problems which the questioner is, uh, is touching upon. Can you create a British Bill of Rights that would override um, uh, European uh, law, the treaties, uh, there, and there's a separate issue of the European Convention on Human Rights, which has nothing to do with the European um, Union. We're signed up to that, so we're bound by it by virtue of it being international obligation. So we are limited in what we can do. Whether a Bill of Rights uh, would add anything, a British Bill of Rights, um, there may be a case for enshrining certain values in law, but a British Bill of Rights would be normal statute law, so it could be uh, amendable. And there's also an issue of if you try to entrench it in any way, though that would be difficult under our constitution, you'd be transferring power from the people's elected representatives to unelected people, that is, the court. So there is a fundamental constitutional question there of whether we should go down the route, which we're already going down, but whether we should go further down the route of allowing what are essentially political issues to be resolved judicially. So should it be the court, in effect, making policy, or should it actually be the people's elected representatives? I actually think it should be Parliament rather than the judges uh, making law. So I'm always very wary of doing anything that would move us away from enabling Parliament to be the final determiner of our law.